what's going on welcome to the channel um bit of city skylines today um just having a chilled one gonna go grab something for lunch in an hour with my boy so it'll only be an hour's worth um let's have a look at some maps barrier island is a very good one to do um it's in the southern hemisphere European. I'm not gonna unlock all although I've I have been tempted to. We've got quite a large open area to begin with. Mm, first thing you wanna check is wind direction. Wind's going that way. There's quite a bit of island left over because pollution's going to travel by the wind. Therefore, you don't want to put any hours in in the path of where that pollution's going to travel to. I mean, I'm not trying to teach you how to suck eggs, but. The audio on that game looks really loud, so I'm just going to bring that down. If you hadn't heard me up until this point, that's why, because of the audio on the game. But it should have just sorted itself out there. Um, let's get back to it. And what I could actually do, at that level, yeah, is I could level a bit of this out. Just casually. Got to drag the land and sort of like... it out basically i'm just gonna i'm gonna have most of my at some point i'm gonna want to move over to here it'll make sense oh uh, yeah it'll all make sense i might keep that cheeky little river though because it looks cool And level it at the same time. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm just taking the existing terrain and I'm just sort of dragging it out, stretching it to its limit. And then, as I'm doing that, the game is sort of just building it up underneath. It all makes sense in a minute. Oh, gonna pause it. Oh, well, we can now. Now I've done that, and we know that we need um, power. But the good thing is, if you use wind turbines, you can get from clean energy. If you try and keep them away from um, polluted areas, that's going to benefit you greatly. Um, let's try and figure out. Go straight with that one. And we'll just connect them up via that, that one line.
All of them are connected in. Mm. So you see the way this section here is, is quite annoying actually. If the water just sort of bounces around in this area, there's no real like current to it. Um, so basically, I wouldn't build my um, sewage outlet in this bit, even though it'd look kind of cool having like water pump from there. And I would probably put it on this little section here, so it's just going to pump straight into the ocean. <laughs> Typical human. Um, but at the same time, there's a water pumping area there. There's one here, so I wouldn't want any sort of production on these areas because it will corrupt the water in the ground. We'll get to that. We're going to build some roads for us anyway. We're going to start with um, a roundabout, but not there because it will affect us later. Bring the road down at a 180. Probably like 300 meters. Right. And then round about it, probably there. These are dual carriageways, two laned roads um, that I'm using just solely because This is going to be my main highway sort of area. And then I'll have loads of offshoots of roads around there. Um, we're going to get a clean water. Hmm. Could pump some water up from there. Let's delete that a minute. Let's see how the roads fall for us. Um, because sometimes things change in my mind once this, it's my ADHD. Once I start doing something, the plan can change quite easily. At the same time, though, things I, find, I can set my mind to a plan and keep it. But when you're building a city like this, and things change. As long as you have a general idea in your mind of what you kind of want to do, then you can get by. This one here. The main reason is because I need to get onto that island. Let's take a night here. See what we can go up or under it. Take that out. Basically, the layout that comes together now.
Um, I can put it on parallel mode. The map. Oh, what's that there? It didn't land right, which is annoying. Maybe I should go across first, but then up. Easier. Definitely getting somewhere with it now. Just break down from there. Second Moon Radio with your host, J. Thomas Hornbuckle. Tune in tomorrow for a second chance to hear the music of yesteryear. Um, okay. Take a lot of time to get, to get it sorted. And theoretically, I couldn't leave it like that. <laughs> Very. What I might just do actually, parallel off. Why has it done that? Hmm. Let's get the OD. Go again.
Come on, Greg. Maybe just go by the two. tedious these parts but very therapeutic you know like when you finally get your idea down on the screen these benefits i don't really like that bit but i probably will because i'm gonna have houses in this area here and parks and stuff along in this final one there retail industrial um, something like that. Why are you doing me like that? I'll do. I came over. Right. Starting to get somewhere. Um, want to run a road? That me. Now we've basically got the layout of how we want our city to look. Um, got power, but we haven't got water yet. Or, the West Country coming at me then. Um, what my wonder is, if I put it there, will I get any? No, I could put it there. here. So that's water getting pumped into the system but then that means that this one here i don't want to turn green because that place provides a bit of noise pollution too it's very low but it's still enough that they would start getting aggravated in that area first thing i just put a couple of boxes around there um Waste, uh, as I said earlier, if I can get it over here, uh, I will. Put a pipe on there, to there. Connected 
Um, hospital. As I said earlier, I'm going to have like a buffer area here between the houses and the industries. So I probably need another road. Probably a dual carriage would be best. After that. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to put a little hospital in here. It's a great little place because it's got access to all of them free areas. Can I upgrade it? How much is buy it? Um, cemetery. I'm going to put. you down there you're making you're pumping out the sewage and you're moving it ah no mate that's a 90 there a bit about waste recycling but it's rough in the end. Anything we're missing? There's people now, isn't it? take long at all to upgrade everything for everything to start building and stuff like that boxing day over here it's currently one mil in newcastle united What kind of future does music have if it doesn't look to its past? Well, I say the question speaks for itself. Here on Second Moon, we know you can't move forward unless you keep both eyes steadily trained on what's behind you. I've also got this area here. Of building schools and stuff when I need to. But what I'll do is I'd put a buffer in again. So I'd come down to there. And then the noise pollution's got a little barrier that 
so it's not going to interfere with people's lives. Like, as you can see, it's very low impact, but this person here, and these people here, they're going to experience some noise pollution. But as long as it's very minor, air pollution obviously is coming from over there, so that's going to get blown out to sea. Right, on ground pollution, water pollution is going to be there. It's just writing out some messages, letting the city build itself. We're crying out for more houses, are we? Okay. This is where it's gonna possibly start getting logged up.
this way. Upgrading these means my clean energy is going to be available for quite a while. Said that later. Um, ooh, put the first one here. That's the wrong button there. Trying to keep my costs as low as possible at the minute. be wise to actually stick them batteries on there. Electricity. Hmm, actually.
What kind no. of future does music have if it doesn't look to its past? Well, I say the question speaks for itself. Here on Second Moon, <laughs> you can't move forward unless you keep both eyes steadily trained on what's behind you. Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. Well, no. The point is we're selling it and bringing money into local That's Chicago. That's right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance and the economy is booming. More after this. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, one, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human... Thank body. you, Professor. It is a question of priority.
The trick is to keep just not over like paint your tiles with regards to like houses, just fill it as you need it.
How delightful. Another letter from our erstwhile listeners. Hmm. What's up, honey? Me and my sister love you. Oh, that's nice. Y'all got clarinets and violins, but you got something most music these days ain't. Oh, let me guess. Lineage traced back to the great Hayden himself? Hmm? Let's see here. Y'all got soul. Oh, yes, soul. A raison d'etre? Mmm, delicious. My sisters say whoever you got playing the keys got more funk in his pinky. Hmm, but I told her that ain't funk. That's classical. Yes, indeed. That must be most exacerbating. Classical music has been known since the time of the early explorers. Funk, by contrast, is an entirely modern conceit, and you'll find none of that here. Funk, as they say, is for the lay person. Now, let's hear another one of those soulful camps. Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. Well, no. The point is we're selling it and bringing money into local That's economy. right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance and the economy is booming. More after this. So as you can see there as we come towards the end of the hour, um, I'm, I'm going to start extending down that way. I still want to keep all of my polish together. What's that? The library. Library's going to be more important. Yeah, job then. Whoa um the last second I moved it. Offices by the looks of it. We get an upgrade. How much is that? Ten grand. Oh, 
There we go. That's me most of my money. This is probably the time where I'd want to take that loan, 700k. Just so I don't start running into a deficit. Realistically, there's not much I can do. Um, rain. Forestry. So, what the end? Forestry there. I just do. That I do well. I tracked it then. Once you create a district, then you can make sure that your services are only operating in certain areas. Which comes in handy. 
because then when I get attached, you know, like say I go over here and I build another city here, I can call it New Town, and then I can have services specifically going into that area rather than coming across and so on and so forth. Um, done that already, am I? Districts, old town, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Um, it's actually that's an hour. Me and my son we want to go out and get some some food, so we're going to be getting off here. I hope you're having a lovely Boxing Day, whatever you're getting up to. I hope you have a wonderful New Year if I don't see you before. And until then, Merry. Oh, I'm just going to say Merry Christmas, and that's gone. Until then, thanks for the follow, and we'll see you next time. Bye.